first one when I first got into like trying to grow my hair a lot longer is hair affinity and so hair affinity a lot of people a lot of us have seen hair affinity on Instagram and Facebook and even in some I think magazine articles and hair affinity I think it's I'll put the the price down I think it's like $24.99 or something a month for just one one bottle uh, which is about 30 days worth and the only really thing that I noticed with hair affinity is that I was shedding less nothing growth wise uh, but shedding will definitely help with hair retention so um, you know it's always a good a good sign that you notice um, a lot less shedding but that was really the only thing that I noticed um, it says hair affinity healthy hair complex healthy hair from the inside out and it supposedly has this exclusive calpacina complex which uh, it just says it's a proprietary blend, so they're not going to really, tell you what exactly is in it. Um, but yeah, there was that. Um, and then the second one that I switched over to from Hairfinity was, I guess, in a sense, their rival, and it is Main Tablism. And so with Main Tablism, um, I also noticed that there was less shedding, and I also noticed my hair was starting to grow a lot longer. The... Um, the the time at which my hair would grow and or naturally shed with like the bulb and still in your hair that's like you know natural shedding was a lot lo longer so I definitely noticed that my hair was growing a lot longer I think the difference between this one and this one is that the um the additional products that they have because they all still they both still have like a, C, D, E. This one has, um, they both have vitamin D. They both have, this one has vitamin K. They both have vitamin B12. This one, they both have folic acid. This one has some magnesium. Here has magnesium, zinc, um, panthophilic, panthothinic acid, selenium, copper. But the proprietary blend in this one has a lot of or it might have all 20 of the um, uh, amino acids. And so amino acids are those things that make up protein. And of course we know that our hair is made of protein, the protein alpha keratin. And so alpha keratin is primarily made of alanine and glycine, I think. And this one here has lysine, alanine, arginine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glycine, histidine, and the rest of the amino acids. So this one made sure to add in the amino acids that you, proteins are made up of, okay? So um, I feel like this uh, hair affinity lacks that as far as I can tell with what they've advertised on the bottle, that they've paid attention to your body needs those amino acids to make the protein in your hair and of course the protein in your body. So I ended up getting this from I think it was CVS and this is nature's bounty uh, hair skin and nails with argan oil infused um, of course it has a biotin in it and most products that are going to be advertised with um, hair skin and nails are going to have a crazy amount of biotin this one has 5,000 uh, micrograms this one has 5,000 micrograms this one has 2,500 micrograms of biotin um, and one thing about Nature's Bounty is that it um, it doesn't have the long list of um, amino acids like main metabolism does, but it does have iron in there. A small amount of iron. It has three milligrams of iron, which is said to be have 17% of your daily value. But one thing that I feel like some people neglect or women um, neglect is they might be iron deficient, and iron deficiency is one of many many causes of um, hair loss so some people who have low iron iron is made up of um, 
getting into a little bit of science. Heme and heme carries oxygen to your uh, your blood cells or your tissues and stuff like that. So if you're not getting enough oxygen to anywhere, then it could definitely um, alter the function of that organ and our skin and our hair, our scalp is one of the largest organs in our body. And so if you're not getting enough iron, you might not give it, be getting enough oxygen to that organ to be able to function properly, if that makes any sense. So I appreciate the fact that Nature's Bounty has added um, a small amount of iron into their product. Um, but, and essentially it has the same AC, D, and E, uh, riboflavonicin, folic acid, vitamin B12, um, zinc, selenium, manganese, just, you know, just regular stuff, hair, skin, and nails. And then I tried the CVS brand. This is the one that I'm actually currently using. I actually like the CVS brand. Um, it doesn't really have much of anything else that's besides the normal stuff that I've been continuously reading off. It does have gelatin and lutein, um, boron, eh, phosphorus, calcium. But other than that, uh, there's really nothing else that, that really stands out. I just like it. It was a nice price. It was, um, CVS has a lot of like two for one type deals. So I got this one on two for one. Now, one thing that I want to mention in all of these, except for, except for this one, is the fact that they all have something called MSM in them which I think is a very good addition to all of these supplements. At MSM, it stands for methyl sulfonyl methane, and it's a version of sulfur. So um, if you by chance remember sulfur 8 or still even use it, or your, your mom used to put it in your hair, or there was a shampoo that was sulfur 8, it was sulfur. And sulfur is very good for hair care and skin care. Um, uh, and if you see MSM, it might be conjoined with um, glucosamine for older people. I guess it's very good for joints. MSM has, is, uh, supposedly has a lot of different um, uses for it. But I take MSM. I don't take this bottle. It's actually, it's actually empty. I take a powder form. This is 1,000 milligrams of MSM. I take a powder form, and one scoop is 4,000 milligrams of, of MSM. And I have noticed... Um, when I have been taking the MSM that my hair, skin, and nails have all um, improved in addition to the hair care pills, which is this one that I'm taking right now. Um, and I would recommend researching, going into some research about MSM and how it helps with hair growth. I'm supposed to um, extend the growth phase of your hair as well as supplementing it with on um, one of the hair scare, hair skin and nail vitamins um but i've been i've personally been taking this for a while and i really love msm and i implore you to go into researching um, some msm and see if that in addition to the small amount that these that these have because msm in here um so like in this one is just trace and um, msm in here is only um, like 100 milligrams. 100 milligrams versus just taking one of these is already 1,000, and I take 4,000 a day. Um, and then the last thing with uh, respect to an addition to taking your hair, skin, and nails supplement is, like I mentioned before, iron. Now, before you even think about taking an iron supplement, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you to go to the doctor first get your iron level checked because there is such thing as iron toxicity and if you are not iron deficient and you start taking an iron supplement you might be taking way too much okay so iron is a very significant thing that you need to make sure that you're actually taking it if you need it but i am iron deficient and i have been cleared from my doctor to take an iron supplement i take a prescription because i'm severely iron deficient but these are just ones that i take when i run out of my prescription or something like that so here's iron and again, go and do a little bit of research on iron and hair loss and iron and shedding and how low iron levels can affect your health and your hair health, skin health, nail health. If your nails are just like, um, if they not shed, peel, if they peel or break easily and they're very fragile and flimsy, um, that is one of the symptoms of having an iron deficiency. Of course, hair shedding, fragile hair is um, something 
a symptom of iron deficiency um, and I forget what the skin symptoms of iron deficiency are, but uh, if you have any of those symptoms, go to your doctor first. Don't just go to the, the store and pick up an iron pill and think that you're going to be okay. Make sure that you have an iron deficiency before you even consider taking an iron pill. Now, for what you've probably been waiting for, what is my favorite hair, skin, and nail pill? And the answer to your question Bane Tabulism. By far my absolute favorite hair, skin, and nail pill. Again, one of the reasons why I stopped taking it was because I would have to order it online all the time. Partially the price. I wish it was a little bit cheaper, but for healthy hair, skin, and nails, which I did notice, Bane Tabulism would be my favorite. I would still pair it with my MSM because main metabolism does not have a lot of MSM in it and I love taking the supplement in addition to that. I think these two together are um, awesome um, co... I don't know the word. <laughs> Cohorts in ha the hair, skin, and nail regimen uh, that I do have. So, main metabolism... MSM together. Of course, this is for me personally. I have my iron pills that also help with hair retention because I am iron deficient. But in Thea's opinion, main metabolism wins the trophy. So what I want you to do is number one, hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted when I do another video on hair, skin, and nails. I want you to like this video to tell me how much you liked seeing about hair, skin, and nails. And I want you to comment down below with anything, any questions that you might have, anything that I wasn't necessarily clear on. If main metabolism is your favorite hair, skin, and nail pills too, I want to know. Until next time, guys.